Hey Senpai, it's your Kohai, and Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday from Kohai's Collection. This is our second Christmas video, and we are once again joined by the lovely Chizuru in her Santa Bikini de Fuomoko Second Christmas, which is a 1-6 scale figure by Hakori Musume with an MSRP of 19,800 yen, which is 4,000 yen more than the figure that just released last year in August, and my guess is that there is not 4,000 yen more figure. So let's dive right in. Taking a look at the box, it's pretty much the exact same as last time. We are greeted with this lovely open display window in the front where you can pretty much see the entire figure and her face is not blocked. And so that's really nice. And then we come around to the side and we see some of the prototype figure and some little stars and ribbons. And then we come to the back and it has some kind of saying, but it's in Japanese and I cannot read it, but it is made out of the nice cardboard. So let's go ahead and open her up. Here we can take a look at the inner packaging. Initial impressions are that I feel like they got a bit lazy with this one. Instead of getting 4,000 yen more, I really feel like I got 2,000 yen less, which is really disappointing because the figure last year was pretty decent for the price point. But my balloons that I loved so much is now replaced with this ugly white lumpy Santa sack. And I wish they would have gone with maybe like a red velvet finish or just put presents on the inside that filled out the box like the balloons filled out in the last figure. So let's see how she holds up up close. Taking a look at the paint, the only airbrushing on this figure is in her hair where we see red tips and there's a darker color in the part. The red tips do seem like they are less applied than last year's figure. And as for the rest of the figure, there's no shading and it really relies on the sculpt and the way the light hits that to give it its depth. It seems like there's a little bit of paint bleeding in her arm accessories here. And our figure actually has a pretty glaring problem, which is that they missed the matte paint on her right leg here. So you see all of the little tiny scratches and it looks really plasticky, almost like an old Barbie doll leg. And you can see a pretty drastic difference between her hip and her leg which is pretty unfortunate, but I do think that the prints of the box look good and I enjoy that they used a pearlescent paint for the bows on the box and the bag. Taking a look at the modeling and looking at her hair specifically first, there are a decent amount of pieces added back in. And just like in last year's figure, the biggest seam to me in her hair is in her bangs, but it is nice that in this year's figure, it is hidden by her hat, which is magnetic, which I believe is the best way to attach a hat to a figure. And then just like in last year's figure, the clothes have a lot of seams in them and you can actually see glue kind of here and here. Although I do appreciate that they used fuzzy pieces for the actual fluffy parts of her outfit. And then when it comes to the body sculpt, they did a nice job on her stomach, legs, and her back, but you lose those finer details, just like last year's figure in her hands and feet and they just kind of get blobby. I do think that they modeled the bag very nicely it does actually look like it could have presents in it and it is very lumpy. And then I also think that they did a nice job when they did the sculpt on the flower and the bow. Speaking of the base, they again chose to make it out of paper, which does make it more realistic. They didn't make it any heavier though. And so unfortunately we still have to have this ugly plastic base and she does have a plastic peg. And so she's not very stable. I wish they would have put in more stuff to fill out the box, maybe some presents since we have a Santa bag. We went from four balloons that filled out the box to a Santa bag that fills about maybe a third. I do really like the ribbon pattern that they have on the top of the box, but the same cannot be said for the ribbons that come out of the bottom of the box. They're meant to be displayed flat, but in a Detolf, you're really not gonna have the space to display them like that. And so just like the top of the box, they might as well have just glued them onto the side of the box, like you might see in a prepackaged box bought from the store. 
Over here, we have a cute little chibi artwork that was a pre-order bonus, but this figure is actually based off of a Daki Makara, which is where we run into a few issues because the sculptor has decided to skip their boobs physics class because in the Daki Makara, she's laying down on a bed, and so naturally her breasts kind of flatten and fall upward towards her neck, and they have decided to directly translate that here. And in her universe, she is an idealized, perfect body type, and now she just kind of looks like she has a bad boob job, and to insult her more, they have given her a flatter ass than normal. So funny enough, this figure actually does match the artwork, which would normally make us happy, but it doesn't realistically translate because they have completely changed the situation. Now she's standing up out of a box. So instead of encouraging the sculptor to go touch grass, they should instead go touch boobs. Continuing with the comparison to the artwork, the Donkey Mocker doesn't really translate to a standing pose either. And it's a little bit of an awkward position to be coming out of a box with to show yourself off with. And it looks like the chibi artist agreed because they made the left arm come out in front, which does feel a little bit more natural. Overall, I do like the pose from last year's figure better because I just felt like it was more lively. The only place that they did better in this figure compared to last year's is her face because they learned from their mistakes and they added blush. Albeit in the artwork, she looks a little bit more angry soon and here she looks just kind of embarrassed. As for Moe, this figure is less lewd than last year since none of her clothes are coming off, but those boobs are pretty in your face. Overall, I would say she's pretty average Moe. Like when I look at this figure, I'm not smitten, but she's pretty cute. So with that, let's give her a score. Starting with the box, I do think it's above average because it has a nice large display window, it has good graphic design, and it's made out of the nice cardboard. So it gets a four out of five. Moving on to production, starting with paint. It is below average because there's almost no shading and our figure has a very glaring flaw on its leg. And this time there are no balloons to bump up that score. So it gets a five out of 15. Moving on to modeling, overall it's pretty average, but this time there are more pieces added back into her hair, which causes there to be more glue as well, and so it gets a 7 out of 15. The base is above average, but the Santa bag doesn't really fill up the space, the ribbons aren't coherent, and ultimately it's still sitting on a terrible plastic base, so it goes back to an average score of 5 out of 10. Moving on to artistry, under art versus model, Funnily enough, it does follow the artwork to a T, but to its own detriment, because they have completely changed the situation, and so it doesn't realistically translate to 3D, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And those problems do carry on to the pose, which is less static than your average figure, but is more awkward than it should be, so it gets a 6 out of 10. As for the face, this is the one area that they did do better in because they did add blush, but the artwork does look more angry soon, so I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. As for Moe, she is average cute to me, but she is showing a fair amount of skin, so I'll give her a 6 out of 10. Moving on to value, objectively this figure costs 19,800 yen and weighs 413 grams, giving her a price per gram of 47.94, which gives her a three out of five. Subjectively, I feel like I got robbed because instead of getting more figure, I feel like I got less figure. So I'm gonna give her a two out of five. For displayability, you can move the box lid around and play with the ribbons, but if they were supposed to lay flat, you can't really do that. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. This brings the total for the Santa Bikini second Christmas to a 56 out of 100. This puts her quite a bit below the first Christmas figure, which got a 70 out of 100, and some of that is due to the paint flaw. I feel like the average person buying this won't compare them like we do, so it really comes down to whether you like ass or titties. And while I'm typically a titties woman myself, I'm gonna go with ass this time, simply because I do feel like it's a better figure overall. Well, that's it for today's video, but I am very curious as to which figure you guys prefer, so comment ass or titties below. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. You can find a way of supporting our channel in the description below. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Until next time, senpai, bye!